It's raining, it's pouring, the dogs are snoring, let's get in the car and go somewhere. Greetings travellers! In today's episode we're going to be heading to Ripon, which is a cathedral city in North Yorkshire. Ripon is often referred to as the oldest city in England, but there are other cities in England that have been continuously inhabited for longer. The oldest city in the UK is believed to be Colchester, which has been continuously inhabited for around 2,000 years. Other contenders for the title of oldest city in the UK would include Winchester, Bath and Canterbury. Regardless though, Ripon is still one of the most significant and historical cities in all of England, despite being one of the smallest with a population of only around 16,000. In this video, due to the inclement weather, we're going to focus in on the cathedral and the area around the cathedral. However, we will come back and do a future video and show you the rest of Ripon. We'll show you around the cathedral and we'll also show you the crypt that lies underneath, which is actually older than England itself. Ripon Cathedral is officially named the Cathedral Church of St Peter and St Wilfrid. Until 1836 it was known as Ripon Minster and a minster is a name commonly given to a large or an important church. The church was founded as a monastery around 660 and what you see today is mostly the fourth church to have stood on this site. If you're finding this video useful and you enjoy watching our videos, please consider clicking the like button. We really appreciate you watching. So we're now going to take steps down into the Ripon Cathedral Crypt, which was built over 1300 years ago. The stairs down into the crypt are very steep and the corridors are very narrow. The crypt is the oldest part of any cathedral in England and actually predates England itself. Entry to the cathedral is free but they do welcome donations. Just be aware that the cathedral isn't dog friendly so if you have dogs with you you may have to take it in turns to go and have a look around. If like me you like to take lots of pictures and videos you may be asked to pay a £3 photography pass fee. So after we left the cathedral uh, we decided to have a look around and I was really surprised to find lots of cafes and shops that actually allow dogs in as well. After a bit of window shopping in the rain we decided to pop into this cafe and we both decided to have a cream tea each. Now here's a little bit of controversy for you. When you're having a scone do you put the cream on top or the jam on top? Because I seem to be constantly having this argument so let us know in the comments which way you think is the right way. I think it's cream on top so <laughs> let me know if you think I'm right or if you think I'm wrong. As you can see the dogs also had a little bit of a rest as well. If you decide to visit Ripon there is a really big car park right next to the cathedral and also right next to the shopping area as well. Ripon is a really good example of a Yorkshire market town and I'd really recommend coming and spending a few hours here at least. I think Ripon is often overlooked in favour of places like York but I would say that the atmosphere is a little bit calmer than York which I always find to be very busy especially during the summer holidays. Ripon is very close to places like Harrogate and York so if you're visiting those places it's maybe worth stopping by. Ripon is famous for holding the oldest horse race in Britain and you can still visit Ripon Racecourse today which has been standing since 1664. Ripon is popular with walkers and cyclists with a number of trails in the surrounding countryside. It's also really close to Lightwater Valley Family Theme Park if you fancy doing something a little bit higher energy with the kids. As you can see the rain kept coming down so we decided to head home but click here to see where we go next. 